Corvettes. We're at the main showroom. Can you believe that was the overflow showroom? Tokim gas pump with white crown. Unbelievable. What a great place. Standard white crown. 35 cents a gallon. Thanks to Saudi Arabia, we got cheap gas. Little propeller. Gas must be full before and after delivery. Tokim, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Well, we're here at the main showroom. Let's see what they got cooking here. Got a racing Corvette with a tube frame. 500 million cubic inches. Porsche. Race car. Huge. 72,000. Corvettes. This looks like the Corvette corner. 70 LT1 coupe. 82,000 miles. Four owner car. Tank sticker. LT1. Heat riser works. It's important. Even has the air injection reactor pump. Air pump. LT1. Check the frame on the Corvette before you buy one. Could be rusty. Fifty-six Bel Air. What color is this? What a great bright green. Correct beige and green. Neptune green and shoreline beige. Fifty-six two-door hardtop. Nope, fifty-five. My bad. Correct me. I'm wrong. Neptune green and what they call that? Neptune green and shoreline beige. Two-door hardtop with little flippers here. Whoop. 68 Firebird, you can tell because it's got the wraparound turn signals. Poverty caps, 404 barrel. Does not have the swept back exhaust manifold. It's not the high performance 400, just 335 horsepower. 330. 400, turbo 400, automatic. Alpine blue exterior, teal interior. It's a deal, 26, 995. Correct T3s. Power clamps, power steering and power brakes and a 400 street sleeper. Red lines, and poverty caps, extra wide wheels, probably 14 by 7s. Wide sports, wide oval. Buckets and consoles, 68. Beautiful. Beautiful color, nice paint job. I worked in a summer camp when I was a kid. One of the guys there, his name was Bucky. He had a Firebird 400 with a wood grain panel he had put on, or a wood grain interior. I was an ah, 400 in a Pontiac. Where do you go? Back to the Corvettes. 1965 or 60, 65. No power steering, no power brakes. Built for speed. No brakes. Don't know what horsepower this is either. You can tell by looking at the tachometer. The higher the RPM, the higher the horsepower. Racing Corvette, our 55 again, that I called the 56. Flat black, Grand Sport. 74 Corvette. Small block automatic, leather wheel, leather interior. Corvettes are getting cushy. Another LT1. LT1 over there, there's one over here. 350, 370 horse. 360 in the Camaro, 370 in the Corvette. Tower clamps. Correct wiring harness, air injection reactor. Looks all brand new. People are fussy about those things now. Four wheel disc brakes, independent suspension all the way around. LT1. 70 LT1. Appears to have original fender. One owner car, 87,000. Stunning true survivor LT1 with one repaint and lots of documentation. Four-speed Muncie numbers match manual transmission. Muncie Rock Crusher, maybe M22, M21, close ratio, wide ratio. I don't know. What a beauty. 427, 66, 66, 427, 390. Just a sedan motor, Corvette badge. In 66, they didn't have that in 65. Got the Mako Shark. Hood, not the 425 horsepower. It's got air conditioning. 427, four-speed Muncie, 370 gears. 
aluminum alloy knockoff wheels, gold line tires, 80,000. What color is this yellow? They call this teak wood wheel, no telescopic, leather bucket seats with seat belts, sunfire yellow. Hmm. I like this pale yellow. My mother had a 67 Camaro she bought new that had this yellow, I think. They called it cream yellow. Hers might have been a shade whiter. Genuine knockoff wheels. Last year was 66 for these and 67. Couldn't get them anymore. They had the tri-power, but those days were numbered. 67 was last year for the tri-power on the Corvette. 66 on all other GM cars, like the old Cutlass. Beauty. Lion High Fast Lane Classics in St. Charles, Missouri. We got this LT1. Wow. There's just so much to see here. I'm just bumping around. Car to car to car. What we got here? Hiding in the back, 73 convertible, 350 four barrel, turbo 400, 308 gears, highway cruiser. Looks pretty original, check the frame. Power brakes, power steering. Wow, old organ. Tweet, tweet. East Lake, late 1800s. Sammy Davis, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, Robin, and the Seven Hoods. Huh. Frank Sinatra can come blow your horn. <laughs> A lot of goodies here. Mobo. Merry-go-round. The Mobo merry-go-round. Mm -hmm. One Chrysler front end. Isn't that sharp? Corvette, 1953. Some of them had the Chevy emblem at 90 degrees to the flippers. Automatic, 235 with three two barrel side drafts like on the uh, Corvette Turbo. 54. 74,000, same owner, 57 years. Wow. These cars didn't sell back in 54. They were leftovers. They made very few 55s, even though they had V8s. They made very few 55s. 300, they made, oh, I forget how many. 3,000 of these, 4,000. And just a few hundred 55s, even, even though they came in colors in 55, were much more readily available in colors. Oops. Yeah, three side draft carters. Same owner, 57 years. Yeah, the old stove bolt Chevy 6 with a power glide. No manual transmission. Look at those teeth. Same owner, 57 years. Amazing. Actually, look underneath. Never know, could have been winter driven. Well, it looks like it's been painted or restored or can't tell. First fiberglass car or second fiberglass car? I think the Nash Healy was also fiberglass, if memory serves me correct. Got some old animals from the grocery store, helicopter, rescue helicopter. L82 Corvette. Speed Hurst. The original GM Muncie shifter or Saginaw was curved, but the Hurst was straight up and down. Prowler. Ah, so many goodies here. 69 Mach 1 R code with a Cobra Jet Ram Air Shaker. 47 Ford two door Resto Mod, big block Chevy, all billet. This is a nice color. I like this one too. Reminds me of Le Mans blue from Chevy's. And this is called Acapulco blue. Chevy called it Le Mans blue or Nassau blue. I'm getting my shades correct. Beautiful. Just never ends, one after the other. 59 Ford Fairlane with a Thunderbird engine. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Galaxy Sunliner Convertible. Turquoise Volunteer. Indian Turquoise and Colonial White. Indian Turquoise. What a beautiful color. Indian Turquoise. I haven't seen much here. I don't like it. Tell you, this place is crazy. Look at those door panels. Just like in the junkyard, but a bit nicer. Like that baby up. All the toy cars. Pedal cars. Real nice stuff. 61 Chevy. Bubble top. Two-tone interior and brocade with a 409. Oh my. Bubble top. 348. Date code 1960. Late 61, they had an SS package with a 409, but this is not one of those. Original quarters. Yeah, it's a resto mod. Some original parts, some kind of sort of original parts. Tinker with it and make it just the way you like it. Not to worry about ruining an original car. Plain Chevy Dash. 348, just like the 409. Mother's, my mother's 67, 68 Camaro in this color. Yeah, spoiler, it's probably a Z28, Z27 trim, which came with the Rally Sport package. Yep, Z28. My mother ordered one of these brand new. It was only a six cylinder with bucket seats and a column shift. Yep, last, appears to have original floors. Last owner owned since car since 89. Brought from a private collection, California car. 68 Z28. And the color is cream yellow. Butternut yellow. She called it cream yellow. Butternut yellow. I like it. Maybe on a Corvair. I can't afford these fancy cars. Beautiful. 